In this lesson of the Stoic TTX facilitator training, we will go over the logistics of the exercise, and in particular we'll go over the Stoic framework and their steps to prepare, deliver, and then capture the highly valuable outputs and next steps for the participants. There are seven broad steps in the Stoic TTX process, and they are a pre-assessment, identifying the objectives, identifying the attendees, scheduling, building the scenario, delivering the scenario, and then capturing outputs and actions. The pre-assessment is quite simple, and if you are doing a facilitation for an organization that you are not familiar with, we have a questionnaire which pulls out some of the and some of the details of that organization so that you can custom fit the exercise to that organization. If you are part of the organization that you're exercising, you might not need those questions, you might not need to get the details from someone else, but they are useful for yourself in order to make sure you understand the level of the participants. In particular, we're interested in whether or not they have an incident response process, whether they've tested it, whether they improve it, whether or not they've done tabletop exercises before, and how comfortable they are with incident response in general. If they are not comfortable with incident response, then the facilitator can come in with a more gentle hand, more general scenarios and details, and walk the organization through much more slowly. If you find that the organization is extremely comfortable, very mature in their incident response processes, and have a lot of technical expertise in that area, then the facilitator needs to prepare a much more detailed and a much more structured scenario to challenge those participants. And if you are not a cybersecurity expert, don't worry about that. We've got tips and tricks to help you prepare even for a very mature and experienced participant group. Next, you want to be able to identify the objectives of the exercise. What does the organization or what do the participants want to get out of it? This is really, really important so that you know what questions to ask, the types of scenarios to ask, and how to structure the entire event a little bit in order to make sure that those objectives are met. Sometimes the organization or the participants know exactly what they want out of the exercise, where their gaps are, and you can craft the scenario to meet those objectives without having to come in with a standard uh, pre-built and pre-established expectations for what the facilitator is going to do. So understanding some of these objectives is important. In the framework document, we have a list of proposed objectives, which are pretty common for pretty much any tabletop exercise, and you can use those and get the organization or the participants to rate which is most important and what they think they absolutely need to get out of the exercise. To help both facilitator and participant groups, we have a certification path which provides a suggested sequence for what tabletop exercise scenarios to present, how to present them, and how to structure the exercises. And the objectives in the framework are rated against the proposed different levels of certification. So if you don't know what objectives should be important, that guide will help you determine what you probably want to look at and focus on first. Next is identifying the attendees. The attendees is going to be almost obvious after you've identified what your objectives are. If your objectives, for instance, are to practice communication, then bringing in the communications people in the organization becomes rather important. The attendees that you need also depends on the type of level of the exercise that you're going to run. And this is where STOIC gets its name, S-T-O, Strategic, Technical, and Operational. Those three levels are different types of exercises and different types of practice that need to occur in the organization. The operational people are typically the help desk people, the technical experts, the incident response teams, the people that are trying to contain and respond to the incident. The tactical level are the next level up in management. So these are the people that are managing 
the incident and managing the other teams and the other interactions in the middle of an incident. The level above that is the strategic, and this is the most senior level, and depending upon the size of your organization, this could be the very top level or some abstraction down, depending upon the, your hierarchy tree. And these are the people that need to be managing the organization in a scenario. Now, typically in an organization, the strategic level only gets called when it is dire, when the organization is in an existential threat, where the organization might have to close its doors, and that level of management needs to be brought in. The organization's breach policy, incident management policy, disaster recovery policy, or business continuity policy often has a description as to how severe the incident needs to be before the most senior people get involved. And the facilitator can use that as a basis for determining the details and the injects. I'll get into injects in a, in a later session. But what details and injects the facilitator needs to bring in that are going to be relevant then to that group. So in identifying the attendees, you want to figure out what the level is that you need to exercise and bring those people in and the additional people that you might need in order to cover the objectives. Like I said, if you're exercising communications, you need to be bringing in communication people. Now, these three levels need to be exercised all the time. It is not enough to do a once a year tabletop exercise just for the operational folks and then leave it at that. Stoic TTX is about doing tabletop exercises frequently. In fact, the design goal was to make it possible that tabletop exercises could be run in an organization every week. We realize that not every organization is going to do that, but we wanted to make the framework facilitate that. So when the framework is talking about exercising the strategic level, we really mean it that the strategic levels, the most senior management, should be dealing with a tabletop exercise, maybe not every week, but perhaps every month, dealing with different types of threats, different types of scenarios, and they need to get practiced in making decisions in the midst of a very, very, very serious incident. So tabletop exercises need to be done on all levels and be done frequently. So in the, in the step of identifying the attendees, make sure you understand what the objectives are and know what level you need to exercise, but understand that each scenario needs to be practiced and exercised at all three levels at some point. The next step then is, of course, scheduling. Not going to get into scheduling that deeply here, but we want to suggest a couple things in terms of how an exercise is run in terms of time. I have seen, personally, experienced groups that have experience in tabletop exercises run an exercise in 20 minutes. They know what to do, they know what they need from the exercise, they've done it often enough, 20 minutes to a half an hour might be all that group needs. I have run exercises that also last two hours, and that tends to be all too much time. People's brains start to fry at about the 90 minute mark. So the recommendation, the general recommendation, your results may vary in your organization and your participant groups will have their own needs in this area, but expect that the first runs of a tabletop exercise shouldn't take more than 90 minutes. 60 minutes for the scenario and then another 30 minutes for the cleanup, the lessons learned, and some of the, the ending type of uh, ac activities after the exercise. The next step is building the scenario. There is a full video dedicated just to building a scenario, but to quickly cover the high points, Building the scenario requires taking some kind of a threat, something that has an impact or represents a risk to the organization, figuring out what the initial impact is of that threat, what the organization needs to respond to first, that first thing that comes up that triggers the entire process, and then growing that incident and that threat into something that fits the ability and the expectations of the participant group.
This is done through injects. Injects are details that you add to the scenario to further the scenario, to advance the next sequence of steps, or to radically change the scenario into something different. We will cover injects in another video. The Stoic TTX framework comes with a list of core threats and scenarios that we feel need to be covered in every organization. Every organization needs to be able to handle those core threats, and those threats need to be exercised as well. Again, at all three levels, the operational, the tactical, and the strategic levels. Those are not the sum total of all the threats that every organization should, should tackle, and the facilitator can definitely go beyond the core threats and the core scenarios within the framework and choose something that fits the needs of the organization. The next step is delivering the tabletop exercise. This is a large topic, and I have a video dedicated to that as well. But to cover it off very briefly, what you want to do is you want to welcome people to the event. You want to set down the ground rules. You want to deliver the scenario, respond to how the participants are responding to the threat and the scenario by introducing new details or injects. And then at the end, you want to be able to ask a lot of closing questions and cleanup questions to end the event gracefully and in a way that empowers the participants and sets you up as a facilitator for the next tabletop exercise. And the very last step is preparing the output in actions report. Stoic TTX framework has a template for this report to help guide what that is, but in general, you need to be able to capture three basic things. One are the key items, the key assets, the key resources that the participants relied upon in order to respond to the scenario. The open questions that arose in the middle of, this, uh, of the exercise that need to be followed up on and need answers. And action items that were brought up during the exercise that the participants have thought up to do in, in order to prepare for an incident like was presented during the scenario. Because Stoic has a design principle of being fast, flexible, and fun, that report is a templated bullet point list, table-based report. There's no introduction summary. There's, there's not a lot of uh, prosy words in, in that type of report because as the design goal is to make Stoic TTX so easy to do that it can be done every week, we wanted to make this report as easy as possible to fill out and still capture really high quality, really valuable outputs and actions that the organization can use to rapidly and radically improve their ability to respond to an incident. Those are the main steps of the logistics of a Stoic TTX exercise. There are two videos on building a scenario, and on delivering the scenario, we'll, we will delve a lot deeper into those topics and give you the tips and tricks to make them work really well.